Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to set up just our base project. So I'm going to open up my project here. And this is just from a couple of videos ago. And I'm going to go into whatever I called my project. This is called Atlas. I'm going to go into templates. And then I'm going to go into base.html. And this is going to be the base file. Now, if you're brand new to Wagtail, if you're brand new to Django, this essentially allows you to write, you know, your doc type and your HTML and all this other stuff just once. And all we have to do in other files is essentially inject some code in here. So we're going to write this, this base template, we're going to clean some of this up and, and make it look like our new, uh, our new template, I suppose. And then all we're going to do is really for the most part, inject some content in here, we're going to use different files. So we don't have to write all this, we don't have to manage this more than once. So what I need to do is I actually need to open this project, I'm going to put the original one kind of on the left, and I'm going to put this one mostly on the right. Uh, hopefully this works. This is really hard to do with just one screen. It'd be really cool if there was a video feature where you could see both of my screens at the same time. Um, alas, we are not quite there technologically, apparently. So over here, I have the actual source code. That's the source code from here. And I just downloaded it for free. Uh, and well, I gave a tip personally, because you know, I think this is a fantastic template to work with. Uh, but you can get it for free. So I'm going to go into just index.html. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller here. Uh, because there's a lot of HTML in here, right? There's the whole template, you've got your everything from your doc type to your HTML to all of this other stuff. And you've got your navigation and your footer and the content. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this apart. So essentially, we're going to in a form or in a sense, copy or steal, I like to just use the word steal, we're going to steal it from here, and we can put it into our project. So what is important here, right? Um, well, if we look through our code here, and I'll make that just a wee bit smaller as well. Right, we have character set, we have a title, uh, description, viewport, um, and we got some things that actually work in here. Okay, great. So we don't need uh, content, uh, we don't need viewport, we got that. Uh, title is going to be dynamic based on your page and your site name. Uh, if you want to add some open graph stuff, you can absolutely do that. But what I'm going to do is just grab this important stuff. Now, as a heads up, uh, you're going to probably spend quite a bit of time watching me do this. Boom, because <laughs> I don't like that all this stuff is on so many different lines when it only needs to be on one line, uh, especially when the line is, you know, uh, only 46 characters long. So uh, I personally like doing that. If you're on VS Code, by the way, uh, I just type Control J. I'm not sure if that's the actual command or not, because I've got a lot of customizations in here. But there is a way to just minify all that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I want to actually take not the description, uh, we could take the favicon and get rid of some of this other stuff. I'm literally just deleting it. And we're going to put that in one line and we're going to put this in one line and we're going to put that in one line and we're going to do this a few times because apparently we're using all sorts of things uh, in this template. And we're going to use exactly what the template has provided us. Um, so uh, da, 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 da. It's hilarious that I said that because we're actually not going to use HLJS, that's HighlightJS, which is a fantastic service for highlighting your code, but we're not going to deal with code in, in this lesson, or in this course, uh, which means we don't need that either. What we need is this style sheet, we need box icons, we need some fonts from Google. Uh, and, and we're going to want Alpine as well. So let's go ahead. I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to throw this right in here, right where our style sheet is. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And we will patch that up in just a moment. Now, because I'm working from one template to another, I want to make sure that what I'm actually copying is actually useful. Right? So favicon, we don't have this image yet, it will come, we just don't have it yet. Do we want to pre connect to uh, gstatic.com? Yeah, probably. Uh, we want the Poppins font. Uh, style sheet box icons, perfect. Uh, this is going to be our own CSS file, which is going to come from project name, static, CSS, and it's going to be called atlas.css, right? So we can change that out. But I mean, assets isn't even folder. So we're not going to worry about that just yet. What we're doing is we're just setting this up. So I grab that stuff uh, in the body, I can grab all that as well, because that's gonna 
be needed. So I'm just gonna literally copy and paste, and I'm gonna put this all into one line. It's a little easier for me to read it that way, a little easier to, dis, uh, to display it. Um, so this is Alpine JS, you know, Xdata Global. Init the theme is mobile open, change a bunch of stuff. Uh, the class is dark BG primary kind of thing. Um, so that's Tailwind stuff. This is Tailwind, uh, and this is Alpine JS. Her Wagtail user bars, when you're editing a page, at the bottom right is gonna show you a little icon that you can click to edit the page. Okay, next we need to set up basically our container, and this is gonna contain everything. So usually, uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna leave that for another lesson. So right now we're gonna have put <laughs> this in there, slash div, and slash div. What I was gonna say is usually we could create another block for the navigation and the footer, uh, which we are going to do at some point, just not right now. So I'm just taking this because that's going to keep all of our content centered on our page. I'm not gonna worry about the, the header, that's what all this code is. If you read through it, uh, you will be able to notice that that is in fact the header at some point. Um, and we're gonna create the navigation with all the links that we need at, uh, in another lesson. Um, so this looks like, again, container MX auto, container MX auto, div ID main. Okay, so that's same, same. This was just centering the navigation. This is now going to center the actual content. Now this is what we want. We want to grab this content right here uh, and my story and what is this one? Another my story and projects. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of that and I'm just going to bookmark that for I think it's our next lesson. We're going to start working with the home page a little bit or somewhere uh, shortly after that. Um, and then we have our footer. So uh, what I would usually do is yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this footer, right? And I'm gonna just throw this in here, right? Inside of this container MX Auto, so everything is centered, paste it in there, and I'm just gonna zip that up real quick because we're gonna work with this in a little bit. So that's gonna be our footer. Don't worry about the mess. We will clean up the mess in a little bit. This can be a little bit of a, a messy process. So we've got the footer there, we've got some content, and then yeah, we just want that navigation. Let's go ahead, because that navigation's on every page, right? So why wouldn't we want it in there? And it looks like we actually have two parts of the navigation. So we've got a mobile nav and a desktop nav. Uh, let's go ahead and put that above our future content. Paste that in there, just as is. Uh, and then we're gonna go and open up localhost port 8000. And we're gonna see, okay, not quite working. Uh, do we have any issues in our console? Let's look, console, uh, yes, dark mode is not defined. Global is not defined as because we have not added our JavaScript yet. So let's go on to the very bottom here where JavaScript usually is. Add that to the very bottom here. And you can see we already actually have JavaScript uh, in our project, but this is using this thing called static. So what we need to do is uh, a couple of things. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because we need to kind of do several things at roughly the same time. So I like to do the biggest visual things first. I do uh, homepage.html, that's where my homepage is. And I'm just gonna get rid of that. I don't need any extra CSS because we're gonna use global CSS. We got rid of this in the body element. We don't need that and that welcome page. And uh, this is gonna say hello world and that's it. Let's see what this does in terms of visualization. Okay, so we got some stuff in here, but it doesn't really look like things are loading. So the next thing I need to do is I have to look at things like static JS Atlas. Well, it's not the same as assets JS main. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna swap these out. Now, in the base project, the original template, I have a folder called assets. There's image, JS, and styles, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all three of those actually. And in my project here, I'm gonna go into static and I'm simply going to paste those in there. Uh, and that didn't quite work because it made copies. So what I'm gonna do is instead, let's just go ahead, delete the originals, paste them in there. And so now I've got static, image, JS, and styles. So let's go with the JS one, static JS, main.js, static JS, and this one is called main.js. Let's get rid of that one. Now we're starting to align the project with the template. Scroll up back to the top and we have uh, assets, 
styles main.css. What we want is static CSS. And this one is, no, this one's actually called styles. Do, do, do that one a little bit different from what I'm used to. And I think it's main.min.css, but we can check in just a moment as well. Main.css, oh, this is using all the Tailwind stuff, great. If you want to use Tailwind, it's in there, awesome. Uh, but we're gonna use the compiled stuff because we're not gonna do too much front-end code in this little mini course. Uh, let's see where we're at now. Okay, uh, img logo.svg is not there. Uh, cool, we can do that. Um, and the favicon is not there. So what I wanna do is, because I've noticed this pattern now, if I do a search for assets slash img, there's three more in here. So what I wanna do is, because it's not in an assets folder, it's in the static folder, which Django is gonna manage for us, especially in production. Uh, we are, I guess not in production, Nginx usually serves that in production. Um, but in development, Django does it. So we're gonna type again, static, IMG, favicon, and then we're gonna look for this again. And you're gonna see that this is gonna become a pattern, static, and we're gonna find one more, and we're gonna type static. This is a Django template tag called static. If you're using a new project and static does not work, I'll show you what happens when it doesn't work. You'll see this. Uh-oh, did you forget to register or load this tag? I did. Oh, okay, let's add static in there. Perfect. Now this is very django -y, right? We're gonna load essentially a file, and then we're gonna use a function in that file. So we're loading static. We have a favicon, we have our logos. Now something does not quite look right in here. Uh, it doesn't look like things are lining up the way I would like them to line up. And I am not certain why that is. But I'm gonna venture a guess that it's because, oh yep, yeah, we got two mains in there, we don't need that. And this is very, very common. For every opening div, you have to delete the closing div. And content, let's see what we can do in here. There we go, that's all it was. That's really common. Uh, now we can see that some of these fonts are uh, not quite the exact same. That's okay, at this moment, we just need to get pretty close. We're not looking at making this perfect, we're just making this pretty close. So you can see that's actually, if I do this, it's starting to look very, very similar, right? Just the content in the middle is gonna change. That's how we set up our base.html. Again, you know, this, this really, really seems complicated. This seems like it's very involved, but at the end of the day, once you know what you're doing, this really only takes a few minutes. You copy and paste some stuff, you make sure that your static assets are, are actually working in your static folder here, rather than coming from uh, an assets folder. It comes from static. Um, and that's kind of it for outside resources. And then uh, on the inside, we just kind of throw all of this content into base.html, and we'll do a little bit of cleanup along the way. In the next lesson, we're going to work with the navigation. We're gonna get that set up so that it uses actual navigation and not just weird little links that really go nowhere. So we're gonna get that set up, uh, and then we're gonna put this into its own file as well to keep it nice and tidy. And we're also gonna work with a mobile menu. So if I click this little icon there, mobile, right? We have gotta change those links as well. So we're gonna do that in the next lesson.